Hello, my name is Loopline, and I often get asked how to use Scrapebox to post articles to your own blog or to post comments on your own blog so you can make it appear active um, and that sort of thing. So this video is going to cover how you can do all of that with Scrapebox. So first, I went ahead and set up a sample blog here um, just uh, under my Scrape box marketplace site here just called lawn care and uh, I'm just gonna focus on lawn care because it has nothing to do with scrape box maybe you're doing um, you know a website for a local lawn care person whatever got me a nice theme here uh, I'm not sure that the butterfly fits with lawn care but you know it'll work and so basically what you're gonna want to do is first we need to post some articles this is obviously a brand new blog so we're gonna need to post articles but I want to adjust a couple settings ahead of time just to to prepare for it. So first I'm going to go to settings and discussion and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that people are allowed to post comments on new articles otherwise that could create issues um, if we don't get that done ahead of time because I'm also going to do comments. Um, if you'd like to go in and approve every single article you can or you can simply set this up for auto approve and then turn it off later. So I definitely don't want to get emailed every time someone posts a comment such as Scrapebox. Um, I don't want to have the comment author to be previously approved and if I want to do trackbacks then I can allow notifications and I definitely want to allow people to post comments on new articles. So that's the settings for discussion. We'll save that and then since we're in here um, you'll want to note that WordPress automatically blocks um, you from posting a comment more than once every 90 seconds so by default now they may have changed it um, but at the time of this video it was like 90 seconds but the point is, is they block you if you post comments too often so if you want to be able to post comments more than once every 90 seconds or whatever the current limit is then uh, Scrapebox actually wrote a plugin that allows mass comments and we'll install that whenever we get to the actual commenting part of it but I just wanted to mention it because we were already in the control panel here so let's go ahead and get some articles and post them up to our blog for that I'm going to use the premium plugin article scraper and then once that's loaded up I'm just going to go ahead to proxies and settings and uh, I just have it set for one connection here because I'm not going to go too crazy fast I don't need very many articles I chose the location to save my articles and set them up to save per keyword I'm just going to type in lawn care here and so I'm going to hit start and let that run and I'll pause the video here and so I got a lot of articles, don't really need that many for a test, so I went ahead and aborted it. Obviously you could let it run, and uh, I went ahead into the article directory and deleted most of them, just kept a handful so that we can work with here. So now I'm going to go ahead and there's a lot of different ways you can do it. There's a lot of tools in here, such as the article rewriter and that sort of thing, but um, I'm just going to use the spinner, and I happen to have Word AI set up. Uh, I have TBS set up as well. You can use whatever you want, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and use Word AI and let me set my folders up here. So I have that set up and I'm going to go ahead and start here and let it run through. Okay, and so that's done and I've got my spun articles. We can look at 21 steps to a lush green lawn and uh, it's all nice and spun. Now I have the choice of going ahead and straight to posting or if I want I can use the spin tax tab to actually get spun articles so like say I wanted to load in my articles and get 10 uh, finalized articles from each one um, if I was going to be posting to a blog that I was you know wanting to have human visitors to I would definitely go ahead and do this step just to make sure that I picked maybe the best one out of the 10 or best one out of five that's you know human readable uh, just because with auto spinning things you never know you could come up with something that's just not the best quality for something that you really wanted to put a lot of effort into. It depends on what, how you're going to use the blog itself, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that step for this particular video. And let's go to the article poster here. And I'm just going to open up the 21 steps to a lush green lawn, and I'm going to grab this as the title here and put it in and then grab my article itself and put it in. And then I can put in post tags if I want, etc. If I happen to have a category set up on the blog, then I can select one of the following otherwise and then put it in. Otherwise, I'm just going to choose on 
categorized here. I'm going to import my URL list. This is the, my actual blog, and you know, don't worry about trying to log into this. I'm going to delete it when it's done. But so I'm going to have the blog URL here, and this is set up uh, just as the blog URL, and then the pipe key, and then the username, pipe key, and then the password. Pretty basic. I'm going to choose WordPress connections one. Uh, I'm going to start it here in a second and let it go ahead and post that particular article. And then when it gets done, we have export options if we want. But um, so let's go ahead and let that run, and I'll pause the video while it does that. And it's completed. And then we have the permalink URL here that we could open in a browser if we wanted to. Um, we can actually go back to the site and refresh our list of posts here. And then we can actually go over to the website itself and see 21 measures to a green lush lawn. Um, nice long article there. And so that's how we can post. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and go ahead and post another URL here. And worth noting, um, in order to post comments on these URLs, we're obviously, obviously going to need them. So we can export our permalink URLs as text and just save it off as whatever. So let me post a couple of articles here. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Scrapebox here. And I'm just going to grab my couple of files that I created here with the, the permalinks and import them. And then, so I have my URLs up here that I want to post comments on. And then I went ahead and prepared some basic things down here. Uh, just a list of names and emails generated through the uh, names and emails generator. And then for my websites, if you want to build links, you can. But if you don't want to build a link, you can just put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And then it's going to get discarded or build a blank link um, for your comments there. And then I just made up a couple of comments. Great lawn care site. And then a little bit of spin text there about having a great site coming back soon. And then we're going to transfer our list of URLs to the blog commenter and we'll have our two post URLs here. Now if I wanted to do more than one comment on each URL, I could just go ahead and let's say I had you know 20 spawn comments in here. I can just go ahead and paste this in here a few different times and you get the picture. The more times you put it in there, the more comments you're going to have. So we'll do that. That should be about six comments a piece. Um, and then we need to go back to our blog and set up the plugin that Scrapebox wrote so that you don't have to wait 90 seconds between posts. So let me just get that up here. So this is the link to it. And I'll go ahead and put a link to it in the uh, video description below here in YouTube. And then once we have it saved off, we'll load that. I already have it saved off on my computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to plugins, install plugins, and upload. You can also simply unzip it and FTP it up or upload it to your plugins directory as well. Um, but it's already zipped up. So I'm just going to do allow mass comments, install it. Once it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And now we can mass comment on our blogs. And remember earlier, we already set up the settings so we would not have to auto approve them. And so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm not going to worry about proxies because it's my own blog. And so it should be no issues. And we just put the plug in, in there so that it won't stop it. So let's start posting here. And then I'll pause it and let it go through it. I will say while it's running that I went ahead and set connections to one. Um, if you have a blog that has 50 posts on it and you want to make 50 comments a piece, that'd be you know 50 times 50 so that's 2,500 total connections. And you go into Fast Poster and run that thing up to 500 connections, you're going to be hammering your own website with 500 connections. And so your website server obviously you will probably not like that. It could ban your IP, it could crash your web server depending on how good your hosting is, that sort of thing. So you want to be very judicious and careful about how many connections you actually use. Now you can probably get away with more than one, but you definitely don't want to hammer your own server as that's obviously counterproductive. So now that it's done, let me get the website pulled back up and we can look at some of these comments. So if you look under comments in our control panel, we can see comments. And then if we go to the actual website, uh, we have our two articles there on the home page. If we click on one and go into the particular article itself, as we go down, we can see here are our comments. And remember, we put HTTP in there, colon, forward slash, forward slash, under the uh, website. It didn't make any of those links, which is exactly what we wanted. And then we have all kinds of comments. Now, pretty basic, uh, but you get the point. Even shows up under recent comments, that sort of thing, all the different names. Looks like it's very active. 
uh, very popular blog and everything is set up straightforward we're able to take Scrapebox and post to WordPress using the article plugin scrape the articles themselves spin them so they're unique um, you can even use the article rewriter over here for checking the word density and that sort of thing and then once we posted them we were able to take and install the plugin Scrapebox wrote so that we can post comments and we set it up as auto approve and then probably you want to go back into the settings unless you want everybody and their brother posting just go back to settings and discussion and then just go ahead and set it to make an administrator always approve the comment it's probably worth noting that if you just turn off allow people to post on new articles and comments those existing articles will still be allowed to have posts on them so you can go into the individual posts if you want and uncheck those to be able to post but it makes a lot more sense i think just to before a comment appears an administrator must always approve it uh, and away you go and then just make sure you save that and so once that's done and you're done commenting there you have your articles there you have your comments you've been able to use Scrapebox for all of it and then if you wanted to you could go out and uh, use Scrapebox to post some blog comments on some other blogs or send some trackbacks to build links to your blog posts that you just made and so that is how you can use Scrapebox to post articles to your blog post comments to your blog and even build links to your blog